Hello everyone. This is the 35th part of the story. Blade God of Blood. Chapter 69 Back to New York. Of course it should. S.H.I.E.L.D. has been protecting this world. Carter replied immediately. Although it is now infiltrated by Hydra, as long as the Hydra is removed, it will immediately return to its original state. I developed a familiar some time ago. Note. Familiars are human beings that have devoted themselves to the vampire nation and pledged themselves to a house or specific vampire leader. Note end. Bert smiled lightly and said, He is an eighth-level agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., but he is also a member of HYDRA, nicknamed Clairvoyant. According to him, at least 30% of S.H.I.E.L.D. are HYDRA, and the leader of HYDRA is the core executive of S.H.I.E.L.D. 30%? This is impossible. Carter shouted in shock, Is this shield or snake shield? Operation Paperclip, you should be familiar with it. Bert said, This action led to the infiltration of a large number of Hydra into the Strategic Scientific Reserve. Shield is a combination of the Strategic Scientific Reserve and Hydra. How could this be? I didn't notice it at all. Carter was desperate. Shield and Hydra are two sides of the same coin. Shield can no longer be saved, it must be destroyed, and only in this way can the Hydra be destroyed. Bert said, However, the elites of Shield are still worth saving. The Earth needs a global guardian organization. Carter asked, How to save it? Send a spiritual leader in, unite the elites of Shield, and take them to overthrow Shield and Hydra. Bert said, Finally, build a brand new organization. Carter was stunned. Are you going to start a new shield? It's not a new shield, it's a brand new organization. A new organization that has no hydra, no paranoia, and is all-inclusive. Bert said, Guys like Nick Fury should have gone home and rested a long time ago. What I want to clear is not only hydra but also the senior management of shield. Carter was silent for a moment and asked, You want to control this new organization? No, it is common development, and the Vampire Clan is very willing to provide funds and talents for the new organization. Bert said, Ms. Carter, everything I have done since I led the vampires was only to protect the Vampire Clan. I believe you know that. I know. That's why I have been helping you take care of the Blood God group. Carter said, Blood God, I want to see Clairvoyant. Bert nodded. Yes, I will arrange it. Thank you. Carter put down the phone, and at this moment, a nurse rushed in and shouted excitedly, Ms. Carter, Captain America, he will wake up soon. Really? Carter stood up overjoyed, then thought of something, sighed, and waking up at this time, it may not be a good thing for Steve. Why does the blonde strong man call himself Thor? Why did aliens invade the small town of Puente Antiguo? Why did the military gather in New Mexico? Why is Iron Man being beaten up again? Behind all this is the conspiracy of the military or the darkness of the government. Please pay attention to the upcoming movie, Thor. This slogan is very ordinary, but the movie trailer is extraordinary. Although it is only 30 seconds long, it includes the agents fighting the Frost Giant, Iron Man fighting the Destroyer, the horror of war falling from the sky, and the Destroyer destroying the town. In just a short period, this trailer has become a hot spot on the internet. Really? Are we really invaded by aliens? Isn't filming about to start? Why is there a movie scene? Documentary? Based on real events? This must be fake, it's just propaganda. It's not necessarily fake, because Iron Man is also in the movie. Maybe it's a fake Iron Man. Yes, it's fake. It must be fake. How can there be aliens? We are the only people in the universe. Aliens appeared, and we strongly demand that the government disclose the truth. Looking at the comments on Twitter, Bert smiled. At this moment, the phone rang, and after the connection, Director Fury's roar came out. Bert Wong, what are you doing? Do you know how much effort S.H.I.E.L.D. and the military took to cover up this matter? I'm vaccinating the people. Do you think the alien invasion is over? Bert sneered. Next, there will be an endless stream of alien invasions. 
Director Fury was taken aback. There is an endless stream. How is it possible? Have you not heard the Asgardians say that Odin has fallen asleep? Bert sneered. Also, Thor hasn't come back yet. Something unexpected must have happened in Asgard. From now on, the Earth can only be protected by ourselves. Director Fury said solemnly. Even so, you can't just disclose the affairs of Puente Antiguo. It will cause public panic. It's just a movie. It's not that exaggerated. Bert said. This movie is set for release. You can deny it. But when the aliens really invade, how will you explain it? Director Fury was silent for a while and said. I owe you the favor last time, and now I have paid it back. The government and the military, you can handle it yourself. Whatever. Bert put down the phone and said to Lilith. Within two months, let this movie be released. Use real pictures for the war scenes. For the rest, I will write the script, and you will find someone to shoot it. Lilith asked. What about the actors? Do you want to appoint someone to be the heroine? Darcy will play her role directly, and for the rest, try to find actors who look similar. Bert said Lilith, nodded. Okay, on the government and military side, I will let people go to public relations. The military is asking me now and won't oppose it. As for the government, throwing money at it is. Anyway, this movie is sure to sell well, and maybe it will hit the box office record. Bert smiled. At this time, the intelligence, finding people, Director James knocked on the door and came in. He took out two documents and said, Blood God, these are the two people you asked me to find some time ago. Well, the efficiency is high. Bert opened the first piece of information. It was a black man named Eric Stevens. Eric Stevens went on to attend and graduate from the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology before joining the United States Navy SEALs and gained the nickname Killmonger because of the mass killings in the Middle East. This person is the big villain of the movie Black Panther. Bird asked, What is he doing now? James said, After leaving the army, worked as a mercenary for a while and have contact with Ulysses Clow. Watch him, don't lose his whereabouts. Bert closed the information, and S.H.I.E.L.D. had found Ulysses Clow. If Wakanda was willing to open it up, then everything would be fine. If not, then it would only be possible to use some crooked ways. The safety of the Earth is a matter for all people on Earth, and Wakanda can't watch the show all the time. At the very least, they have to supply enough vibranium. Then, Bert opened the second document. It was a young girl named Sky. Sky, the protagonist of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., is an inhuman and has many nicknames, such as the Quake, the Walking Natural Disaster, and the Destroyer of Worlds. Not long after Sky was born, her village was attacked by Hydra, and almost the entire village was destroyed. As soon as Sky joined S.H.I.E.L.D., S.H.I.E.L.D. was destroyed. As soon as Sky found her parents, her mother was killed and her father's memory was wiped out clean. As soon as Sky became the leader of the Inhumans, the Inhumans suffered heavy losses. In addition, Sky has several boyfriends, and none of them have a good end. Inhumans, another trouble. Bert shook his head and asked James, What is Sky doing now? Seeking the truth in the Rising Tide organization. The Rising Tide is a hacking group looking for the truth that is being covered up by the government, James said. Send her a message and tell her that she was brought to America by someone from S.H.I.E.L.D. Bert said, it is a pity that such a peerless talent is not recommended to S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay. James agreed without asking anything, and then he said, Blood God, Water Demon is good. With him, no one can enter Oscorp's experimental base. I suggest giving him a salary increase. That's a demon, of course, he's useful. You can handle the salary increase. I will never treat them badly if they are useful. Bert smiled. The three demons are all doing well now. Wind Demon is a superhero, and his popularity is quite high. Thank you, Blood God. James said goodbye and left, and Bert touched his chin. 
The three demons have been in New York for so long, and Kamartaj's people have never appeared. There is a problem. They won't go out of business, right? It seems that Ancient One has long known of my existence. Bert shook his head. At this moment, Felicia called in. Boss, Chief George is here. Bert said, Let him in. Mr. Wong. The tired-looking Chief George and Bert shook hands and said straight to the point. The City Hall has agreed to hire Damon as the driver of the Sin Buster. I hope your Oscorp can provide the Sin Buster armor as soon as possible. Bert motioned for Chief George to sit down, and then smiled. The Sin Buster battle armor has been built. As long as you pay all the money, you can take it away immediately. That's great. Chief George said with joy. We need a Sin Buster right now. By the way, Mr. Wong, I wonder if you can help us find Kingpin. We can't find any trace of him now, but there are a lot of human enhancement drugs on the market. Bert said, You can't find him because many people are covering him. Chief George was stunned. A lot of people? Bert nodded and said, Many people hope that he will succeed in the research on human enhancement medicine. Borrowing chickens to make eggs? No wonder we have never been able to find them. No wonder Kingpin can still make potions. Chief George's face was quite ugly, and he sighed. If this goes on like this, New York will be destroyed. Chief George, why don't you try to strike hard? Bert smiled and said, Lead the team with superheroes, swept the New York gangs, deal with them seriously and quickly, and bring peace to New York. This? Chief George was a little moved, and he asked, Is this okay? Will it cause any problems? Those gangs in New York are so ruthless that they even dare to attack the city hall. There's no problem setting a deadline, Bert said. If there is a deadline, they will not jump to the wall. At that time, they will withdraw to other cities to commit crimes. New York is not the only city in America. Although it can't cure the root cause, it's not bad if it can cure the symptoms. I'll go back and discuss it with the city hall. Chief George nodded and he said, By the way, Mr. Wong, I want to see Gwen. Is it convenient? Bert thought of something and said with a smile, Convenient. Very convenient. Chief George gave Bert a suspicious look. Did this guy do something to Gwen? I just asked Gwen to get a discount and didn't ask her to do anything more. Confused, Chief George went to Dr. Connor's laboratory. As soon as he entered the door, he saw something that made him want to draw a gun. There was a bastard boy who was sitting close to Gwen. Everyone can smell the sour smell of love on them. Chief George walked over angrily. Peter, your formula works great. The lizard serum is almost done. Gwen was talking, but Peter suddenly jumped a few meters away and looked around with a wary expression. Gwen was puzzled. Peter, what's wrong? Also, isn't your jumping ability too good? I just felt a huge danger, as if there was a catastrophe and it seemed like I was going to die. Peter looked around and replied, At this moment, he saw the black-faced and murderous Chief George, and he backed away in fright. This one, he had been wanted for several months before. Gwen also saw Chief George, got up in surprise, and asked, Dad, why are you here? Dad? Peter was dumbfounded, feeling that his future was dark. My future father-in-law is the police chief? Bert smiled at Damon. Congratulations, Sinbuster. The police station has approved you to take office. Can't you change the name? I think Ghost Rider is better. Damon looked helpless, and Bert smiled. You got to Chief George, and I didn't start it. By the way, Damon, there is another matter for you. Damon asked. What's the matter? Bert pointed to the box in the corner and said, Ask the Ancient One if she can help us make weapons with URU metal. I can pay half of URU metal as the forging fee. The URU metal on the destroyer? Ancient One may not agree. Damon said, Master, she seems to be quite, quite laid back. Ask her, on earth, only she can handle these URU metals that contain divine power. Bert said, if she agrees, let her make a chain for you and a battle armor for me. Damon nodded. 
Okay, I'll go and ask. In other words, you are very generous, and you gave half of the URU medal to Ancient One. This half of URU medal is not only the construction fee but also the loot. Bert said angrily. Without the cover of Ancient One, how could I dare to hack Odin's things? No wonder. Damon laughed and left with the box. After a few hours, he came back and said, Ancient One agreed, in addition to your U metal, she also needs your vibranium spear and dragon tooth. Say, do you have the dragon tooth too? Bert glanced at Damon and asked, Is that soul secret method given to me by Ancient One? You know it. Damon smiled and said, Ancient One said, that can't let you go too far. It does feel a little light on my body. Bert smiled and said, I'll go give you the dragon tooth right away, and you will say hello to Ancient One for me. If she doesn't mind, I will visit her in the future. Damon laughed. She wouldn't mind. Thinking of one thing, Bert said, By the way, help me ask Ancient One, is there such a secret method? Damon took a step back and asked in shock, You have a hobby in this area? Bert said angrily, I don't have such a hobby. I'm asking it for others. You help me ask. If there is, I can exchange it for vibranium, elixir, or other things. That's okay, uh, if you have this hobby, I won't look down on you. After all, in modern society, this kind of thing is very common. Fuck off. Chapter 70 Kingpin's Plan On the internet, the trailer for Thor was a buzz. Someone went to interview Tony Stark and asked if the movie was real and if Iron Man was knocked out again. Tony Stark walked away with a black face. The reporters were not reconciled. They went to the military and the government, but everyone had the same attitude. They didn't admit it, but they didn't deny it either. They just pretended they didn't hear it. Such an attitude has made many people realize that this movie is very likely to be true which makes the audience look forward to the release of the movie. Chapter 70 Kingpin's Plan On the internet, the trailer for Thor was a buzz. Someone went to interview Tony Stark and asked if the movie was real and if Iron Man was knocked out again. Tony Stark walked away with a black face. The reporters were not reconciled. They went to the military and the government, but everyone had the same attitude. They didn't admit it, but they didn't deny it either. They just pretended they didn't hear it. Such an attitude has made many people realize that this movie is very likely to be true, which makes the audience look forward to the release of the movie. Thor became popular even before it was released, and it was destined to be a big hit. Different from the internet, the most sensational thing in New York now is to restore the law and order in New York. Commissioner George decided to carry out the first crackdown in New York which lasted for seven days, led by superheroes and dealt with criminals quickly and severely. If it were any other time, the New York Police Department would have been scolded to the point of doubting life, but the chaos and violence of the past few months have long been unbearable for the citizens, who are eager to change all this, eager to return to the past days. Therefore, although some citizens are against it, most citizens choose to support Strike Hard. That's why Chief George's proposal was passed so quickly. As a result, the first strike hard operation started in New York City. Sinbuster brought a group of superheroes to destroy several gangs one after another. Not only did they find a large number of illegal drugs and illegal guns on the spot, but also captured a large number of criminals. This kind of record made the citizens cheer and support the strike hard even more. The Sinbuster also became famous overnight and became a symbol of the New York Police Department. In a mysterious place in New York, Kingpin watched the report on TV and laughed loudly. Strike hard? A good idea, but unfortunately, as long as it is lightly pushed, this good idea will become bad and can't get any worse. Wesley asked. Kingpin, what do you want to do? Kingpin said. Move our people and let them extend the time of the strike hard. Seven days is not enough. At least a month, Wesley said. One month? This is to drive those gangs to the end. I just want them to go to a dead end. If they don't reach a dead end, how can they come to me? Kingpin said grimly. I am their emperor. 
I used to be, I am now, and I will be the same in the future. Wesley asked. Kingpin, what big ideas do you seem to have? After holding on for so long, of course I have big ideas. Those people thought they could treat me as a chess piece, but they didn't know that they were the chess piece, my chess pieces. Kingpin said. And that damn blood god, who doesn't even bother to deal with me, I want him to know that he is the biggest player in his life. The mistake is that he didn't kill me right away. Wesley, get ready, our kingdom will soon be established. Kingpin raised his hands, and his eyes suddenly became like lizard eyes creepy. Wesley's pupils also turned pale yellow, and he shouted frantically, Lizard men, long live! The seven-day crackdown made New York's law and order skyrocket, and the police received a lot of praise. At this time, a congressman proposed to extend the crackdown to a month to completely solve the stubborn ailments of New York City and make New York a crime-free paradise. Chief George was a little against it at first, but he was dazzled by the victory. Under the insistence of the above, he still chose to accept it and extended the crackdown to one month. The gangs are angry, you police officers are too dishonest, right? Said seven days, now it has changed to a month? Some gangs chose to flee New York, but others chose to confront them. They attacked the police in the street, they made explosions, and they robbed banks. The law and order that had been restored deteriorated overnight. The gangs want the police to compromise and end the crackdown, but Chief George is not going to do that because he knows that once compromised, New York will always be like this, or worse. This time, the war in New York has been escalating in a straight line. Police and gang members are dying every day. The two sides do not back down. The law and order in New York are even worse than before, and the police are beginning to be questioned, but at this time, it is no longer possible to go back. If you don't listen to the words of the blood god, you will suffer. Bert put down the newspaper and shook his head. The NYPD is so aggressive, there will be a big problem sooner or later. However, Bert has no idea about meddling. At this time, Bert might as well ask a few more female stars. To play Thor's girlfriend, those female stars are very enthusiastic. Lilith, let Spider-Man protect Chief George, he can't die. Bert thought of something, and ordered, Lilith said, Aren't you afraid of them quarreling? Father-in-law and son-in-law, how can they not quarrel? Bert shrugged. He walked to the floor-to-ceiling windows, looked down at Manhattan, and said, The mountains and the rain are coming, and the wind is blowing. What came to mind, Bert turned around and asked, Has my company's insurance been bought? The gangs are still no match for the police. As time goes by, they are gradually forced into a desperate situation. At this moment, the former New York overlord Kingpin suddenly sent them an invitation letter. After discussing with the major gangs, they all decided to participate, because now only Kingpin can save them. At the gathering point, Kingpin didn't show up right away, but let Wesley entertain them with drinks first. The bosses didn't realize it was wrong, and while drinking, they scolded the police for being mean and shameless, not trustworthy, and vowed to make them look bad. After some time, everyone fainted, and Kingpin appeared in the field, waiting quietly. About three hours later, Zack, the boss of Brooklyn, New York, woke up. He shook his head and was a little confused. At this time, he saw Kingpin in front of him, stood up, and asked angrily, Kingpin, you poisoned us? Kingpin smiled and said, Welcome, my kin. Same race? Are you sick? You're white and I'm black, okay. Zack sneered. At this moment, he suddenly felt wrong and covered his head in pain. Then, his body quickly became bigger, taller, and greener, breaking his clothes. What's even more amazing is that there's also a green tail on his back. What? Zack roared in pain, his entire head turned into a green lizard head. He looked at his claws. There was no anger in his heart, only excitement the excitement of a new life. Now we are the green kin. Kingpin laughed. After obtaining the blood of Spider-Man, Dr. Bald successfully developed the lizard serum. However, this serum has a huge side effect. 
it will not only turn people into lizard men but also completely distort their thinking and regard themselves as lizard men. It's a pity that neither Kingpin nor the bald doctor has any idea of improving the serum because they both injected the lizard serum. In their opinion, there is no problem with the lizard serum. It didn't take long for the others to wake up one after another, and under the action of the lizard serum, they turned into lizard men one after another. Kingpin watched all this with satisfaction. Those high-ranking guys gave him a lot of money to let him study human body strengthening serum, but they didn't know that these funds were all used by him to make lizard serum. From now on, we will be the same! Kingpin stood up and shouted. Then, his already huge body swelled wildly. A few seconds later, a giant lizard man with a height of four meters and muscles all over his body appeared in front of all the lizard men. The lizard people bowed their heads in fear. In the animal kingdom, the strong are respected, and the strong eat the weak. Wesley! Kingpin shouted in a deep voice. Wesley led people out carrying boxes one by one. These boxes are filled with lizard serum. You bring the serum back to New York and turn all your cronies into the same family. Kingpin shouted. Seven days later, we will launch together, sprinkle the lizard serum all over New York, and make all New Yorkers become our kindred, and then we will establish a kingdom in New York, a kingdom of lizard men that belongs to us. Long live the lizard men. The lizard people were stunned for a moment, and then they shouted enthusiastically. Long live the lizard people. Long live Kingpin. Kingpin laughed. He looked in the direction of New York from afar, with a grim expression on his face. That day, I fled New York in embarrassment. Seven days later, I will return as it's the king. Chief George, superheroes, blood god, wait for me. Kingpin planned to act in seven days, but there were always variables. On the fifth day, an accident happened. On the fifth night, Boss Sack in Brooklyn was counting the smuggled arms in the warehouse. At this moment, with a bang, the door was blown open, and the fiery red sin buster flew in, shouting, You guys are under arrest! Charged with possession and sale of illegal firearms! Sin buster! Kill him for me! Zack scolded and directed his younger brothers to shoot the sin buster with guns, while he fled backward with his cronies. As soon as Zack and the others arrived at the back door, they saw Electro and Wind Demon waiting for them. Wind Demon glanced at Zack and frowned. There is something wrong with your soul. You don't seem to be a normal human. Electro Man said. They should all be enhanced people. No, it's not enhanced people. Enhanced people's souls are not like this. Wind Demon said solemnly. Max, be careful. These people have problems. Don't worry, my strength has been improving. Electro Man stepped forward confidently and shouted, Stop, otherwise don't blame me for being rude. Go to hell. Zack and the others immediately shot at the Electro Man. Electro snorted coldly, and all the bullets were gasified by him. They were blasted out directly. To the extent of enhanced people, such a blow is enough to make the opponent lose their combat effectiveness. But to Max's surprise, Zack quickly got up again, and even more strangely, the wound on his chest was healing at a speed visible to the naked eye. I want you to die! Zack roared, his body began to turn green and swollen, and more than a dozen younger brothers saw that the boss had transformed, and they were no longer hiding, and they all transformed into lizard men. What monster is this? Electro was shocked, and Wind Demon shouted. I just said they have a problem, be careful. Soon, Zack and others completed their transformation. They didn't talk nonsense and attack directly. Electro hurriedly fired an electric current to bombard them, and Wind Demon quickly turned into a gust of wind, rolling up two lizard men and flying around in the air. You're so capable? Zack rushed in front of the Electro Man and slashed the air with his claws, and Electro hurriedly turned into lightning to dodge. But as soon as he stopped, he saw another lizard man rushing towards him with a ferocious face. Electro pushed forward with both hands, and a huge electric current bombarded the lizard man. The lizard man was directly sent flying, but he quickly got up, and the wound on his chest healed quickly. Damn, these lizard men are not only stronger than enhanced humans, 
but they can also heal themselves. Electro gritted his teeth, and he vaguely felt that something big had happened. Your time of death is here, Electro. Zack laughed and led a group of lizard men to besiege Electro. Even Electro became a little embarrassed. Wind Demon, you deal with these little brothers, I'll help Electro. The Sin Buster saw that Electro was in danger and immediately rushed over to support him. The lizard man slammed into the door with a scream, but it was not knocked down and immediately got up. There were many police officers outside the warehouse. They were startled when they saw the lizard men and hurriedly drew their guns to shoot. Unfortunately, the power of the police guns was too low to injure the lizard men at all. All the bullets were stuck in the muscles. The lizard man was provoked. He turned around, roared, and rushed in front of a policeman, swung his claw down, and the policeman's head was directly divided into several pieces. It wasn't over yet. The lizard man lifted his hands vigorously, and a policeman was directly overturned by him, and the two policemen were pinned under the police car, screaming in agony. The police were shocked. Some continued to shoot, while others turned and fled. The monsters in New York are getting more and more terrifying. Fuck! Sinbuster was furious and pulled out the big sword behind him to rescue the police. At this moment, a lizard man rushed over from the side and swept his tail toward his waist. Sinbuster dodged sideways and then slashed at the lizard man with a sword. Who knew that another lizard man suddenly rushed out and hugged his arms with both hands? The lizard man immediately slammed into the Sin Buster before, and even the Sin Buster was knocked out and fell to the ground with a bang. Sin Buster, that's all! The two lizard men rushed over with a laugh, and Zack shouted excitedly, Kill them, and leave none of them. Kill, look at these superheroes and the police are upset. The other lizard men also shouted as if they had won. Don't be so arrogant, it's just the beginning! Sinbuster flew up, raised his left hand first, released the arc pulse cannon to blast the lizard men on the left, and then swung the big sword in his right hand with force to disembowel the other lizard man. The lizard men roared in pain, but did not lose their fighting power, and swept away the Sinbuster with one tail. Sinbuster stabilized his figure in the air, and found that three or four lizard men were rushing towards him. To make matters worse, Two more lizard men rushed outside and slaughtered the police. It can't go on like this. Max hit hard. Damon inside the Sin Buster roared, the whole body burst into flames, and quickly spread to the Sin Buster. The Sin Buster quickly deformed in the flames, becoming more and more powerful and hideous. Ghost Rider is back in New York. This marks the end of part 35 of the story. Blade God of Blood. Thank you for listening. Please like the video and hit the subscribe button to listen more. Hit the bell icon to get notified of all the new content uploaded to the channel ASAP.